Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey folks, Son of Beast here and Terry Crews here. Welcome back to the second game of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This next matchup, as we're about to wrap things up here for the doubleheader for the first one and the second one, we're about to send you over to Vancouver, off to Edmonton. This time, the rematch is on, as the series is tied in between the Golden Knights and the Oilers. Now here's the question, who's going to take the lead in Game 5? We'll find out who takes it in, and with the better relentless ways to get it back down towards the wire. This might be one for anybody that can get on to the game. And now for the next commentators I will have here, it's all along the board. We've got OJ, and he's finally here with the other commentaries that you may know of. Because I made creation. Boomer, and the and across here is Tyler Beast. Sorry, ballpoint pen, I will get that one to a moment. And Life Rain will be the center ice for tonight's game. Now it's time to rally things up and get in moving. See you all later, everybody, on the other side of the post-game show. And but now, enjoy the game, folks. Let's do it to it. It's that time. Hoja here along with my broadcasting partner with Ballpoint Pen and Tyler Beast. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. We start things off here as Aiden makes the first hit, save of the night. That will be a starting goaltender for the Vegas Golden Knights. And the other side we have a skinner that will be the, the starting goaltender for the Edmonton Oilers. And off we do it again. Here we go on a start range here for Vegas right now. Here's Mark itself. He'll start things up here on the left side of the corner range. Fires the shot. Big save by Skinner. That will be stopping the play with just under, not under with the start, with the with only nearing the 30 second mark in the first. Here's the call we have life for him. Alex Pachangelo has one of his shutdown ability and it takes all of his better range in offense. He's doing a lot of his maintaining on his work and his effort to take all of them here. I know what he called for. Connor McDavid is one of the wheels to take all of them for the loose and chain. Might be looking for another play down if he has to take with his fast wheels and pace. I have a two range in between and I'll find out which one of them will take here. Back to you. Martinez with the puck now with only 19 minutes starting in the first period and he finds me solid. Stopping the puck right now as CC will have it. Recover by Brisson. Shoots! Big save here by Skinner. Now here's CC. He will have it over on the other side and not find Nurse. Off to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl by Skinner's Big pad on the stop chain here. What a terrific play for Hill. Now here's the thing about Aiden Hill. He's really like all into professional in way. He never really had saw anybody coming by. Because the defending Golden Knights champion, they haven't really expired on here for Aiden Hill to get right into this game. I know it's a hard one, but that in factor is not turning to be what they are expecting in. Because they would really went wild in. They have a lot of it to take a lot of time in there. And probably on that, the most of occasionally, have to do for the next one to take in. Yeah, I've got a great feeling here for Aiden Hill. I mean, he's really like a better like a defending of the world, world on his best uh, goaltender of the night. But it's definitely going to be a hard one to take in here if he has not a lot more room to go for. But we will find out if he gets there. Here's Jan Hopkins finds Yomar. Richangelo now give again to Martinez. Martinez trying to give over to Emidio. Martinez back to Petrangelo and now he gives it off to Barbashev to Stephenson. Moving the puck back and forth for Vegas. Big stop here! Another big pad save here by Skinner! That Skinner has been up a bare drive on that play, but that is a great to stop to make that playable go in. Hopkins shots blocked. 
Barbara Shep now back the other way into the Vegas to the Oilers territory. Off to Amidia. Shoots! Rugby collision here and he's, he's, he's already hurt. Uh oh, that's not turning out to be good. You know how that happened. They're really expecting that Amidia is back down. It looks like they're going to have to recruit him out of here. Now, what happened here? He made that push earlier. That was a big, brutal pain. He really is expecting it. I can't get up. I couldn't even do this. It looks like he's going to have to send him out of both ends of the room. Well, with speedy recovery on that one for Mike Amidio, he will have to be missed here with Game 5 against the Oilers. Here's Fiedel with the puck now finds Stephenson. Bouchard kicked the puck out of here as McNabb will have it. Here's Fiedel with the puck now finding Kolsar. Kolsar now finds Stephenson. That shot gets blocked and out of the way. Edmonton Oilers as Eckholm will give it again to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl lost the puck and this one will give it back over again to Fedor. 16 minutes starting in by with the first period of Stephenson will have it. No early called on Edmonton Oilers and this one give back again to Eckholm. Off to Hyman! That gets out of the way as Fedor will have it again to Froze. Froze will now have it over again to Dennis Sanko. 2-1 opportunity. Poke the puck out as Bouchard will have it over. Now back to Dreisaitl. He gives the McDavid shot. Big stop on the pad by Hill. Just the time with only 15.30 to go. It's still no score to game. Now we have a little bit of a medical attention locker room. Let's send it over to Life Ring on the other side. Thanks, guys. I was really enjoying talking to one of them. As you may already expect it that, Mike and Video was been recovering now. But it seemed like that the heart has been putting in for, for the collision on that course. Because of the thing that was turning in there, he was really like all shooken up already. Mike and Video hasn't given enough of a quote to say this. This team is a really hard goal enough to play for against my team. But it's not very really easy when they take a lot of a percentage here. They're trying to make something else happen. I'll find out if Mike Amidia will have a game, go another chance in Game 6. Big stop by Skinner with 15-10 to go in the first period. This is really like a hard work on a dip effort absence. This may not be what they're looking for, but they expected to find out if there's another playing inbound. And now for the win, here's Hayu. Hayu shot! Big save by Skinner back to Deshaunas. Finding an open room, looking to get to Perry. Under 15 minutes remaining in the first period. Big stop and a pass by Hill. Room with the puck now into the corner. Pressure under, Pulsar shots blocked. Now here's McCloy. McCloy again to Fugel. Fugel fires a shot. Big stop and a play here by Ian Hill. Just under siege now with under 14.30 to go. Still a no score. Now I have a look for Leon Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl's one he was perfect and on a past and bound he has a lot of indicativeness of his feeling of appearance. That's why he has set him his call for a take to take feet on his better range in offense. Here's Ferguson with the puck and now he's in the corner. Kulak's got that puck here with the pick steal. Good defensive effort and now back to Carlson. Vegas Golden Knights are back into the Oilers territory. Trying to find open room. Rizz on! Big poke out by the goaltender. McDavid with the puck. Trying to put it fast on wheels on the other side. Tries to find Dreisaitl shot. Good stop here by Gill. That's really like a better playing position on the offense. This is not really what they are all expected to say about how this can happen. Oh, what a big stop here by Skinner! The puck sends out and he'll Oh man, that is like the biggest playable and bounty, and that was really not how it all turned out to be. I was really impressed with how this is going to happen. I was never seeing it like this one is turning to like the biggest saving of that night. Wow. What Skinner could do, I mean, he's really into it now. Now they're ready to settle down here, ready for another face off for under 13 minutes. Not a win for Vegas Golden Knights. With a shot, back saved here by Skinner. Right now, there's now playing Nugent Hopkins again to CC over to Yamark. 
Hawkins right to it back to Yarmark. Here's Kane. Fair instant. The big stop puts in for Aiden Hill. Barbara Stamp will now have it over in the other side of the of a wing. Matrangelo diagonal it again. Now back to Martinez. Give it off to Stephenson. Way shot on the wide back behind the net. Trying to regroup. No screen here as it's stopped here. It goes wide. And Petrangelo, another one. Big stop on the pad. Pulsar gives to Petrangelo. Way off the mark. Nugent Hopkins now give it back to Yarmark. Gaining Ritter right to the center. Loses that one as Petrangelo gives to Morelli. Morelli on a 2 on 1 break. Opportunity range. Big stop here by Skinner. This one's really taking a lot of bigger a moment. You know this offense is not getting in a lot of enough speed here for the offense and defense here for in between the Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights. They're just trying to make that practice in there, and this is a hard one that they're trying to do. Gotta make a first win, gotta make it communicate, and they are really are working it off. Club saved by Skinner with 11.03 to go in the first period of the game. Now both teams are set for preparation for another face-off puck drop. Edmonton Oilers wins the face-off as Bouchard gets to Echo, now fine for Joe. Toward the right wing, Feeder had that one with the puck taken away and now it goes back to Carlson. Give it off to Pisson, that went wide off the stick. Bouchard's got it now. The Oilers are back in the ninth territory. Trying to give off to Echo, shoot one, Pat saved. Aiden Hill's going to hold that puck here with just only nearing the midway mark of the period down. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still no score in the game and it's still even up. Martinez looking for Fyodor and now he has it. Vegas are back on the other side of the zone. Bouchard giving it back to Ekholm, now find Fojo. Fojo gives to Bouchard. Bouchard trying to enter in the attacking zone. Marginsell takes the puck away. He's got some more runners here. Big save, he scores! Brisson starts it off in the part of the work of the effort as their team's up by one. Now, here's a look over here. You, you made that call a little bit saved off earlier, but that one was a little too late. He made it a little bit an excellent look here for Brisson. He had that one with a good range, had a great target in between, and it wasn't that easy to pick it off from here. That's what happens now. Braden McNabb was really like putting in there for a lot of like a better chance and ability play. They're just doing a lot of the hard work in between. I really like it when that setup print turns in. It's a hard one, but you try to go for it. CC now finding Hyman. Hyman lost that fucking Martinez again to Dennis Senko. Ten hits for the Edmonton Oilers as Dennis Senko entering the ending line. Throw shot. Big stop by Skinner. Dry side gives to Hyman. Hyman trying to look in the middle. Throw shot. Big save by Hill. Now Petrangelo had it again to Morelli. Toward the right wing. Rose shot. Hell off the stop by Skinner. Oh, well, that reaction may not be what you're looking for. But that is when a great save this is all about. Take it from here. Do some a lot of hard work on the offense. Got to make sure you have that one cleared in. And this is really like a hard one to be. Dennis Senko now finding again to Rose. On a shot. He loses one. He scores. I was wondering what happened here, but that pad was just lifted up from it, and this is what the problem has gone. That one really messed it over, and that player at first, he had that pad sticked up. That was a little bit too much chaos out there, but that didn't start things off really well. It's going to be a lot of hard, hard pressure in, and it's never going to let that one slow down. they got to make sure they have the pad in there, but that one's too late because he had that goal in range. Martinez with the puck as the team is up by two. There's really looking great offensive settlings in there. 
I have to know I was going to get back into work. They have no way to do this. They have to keep on going with some passing. That is impossible for their team to get back into the right way. And it's not going to take easy enough to go in. Shot went wide. Echo, we went down. Will start gets to Barbashev and now Fedor with the puck. Nugent Hopkins trying to battle it. And now Nugent Hopkins now finding Echo. Yarmark's got it now with 7.30 to go. Barbashev takes the puck over after a puck steal. The Oilers gain the group. Nugent Hopkins right toward the right wing. Right through the slide. Fires it. Trying to put a rebound when it's saved by Hill. Nearly down the seven minute mark in the fourth period. Ready for a face off. Now the Vegas Golden Knights wins the faceoff and Ristal will have it. CeCe's got that puck. Get the beat cut fast by McCloy. McLeod will have it in. That one will stop in by Hill with under seven minutes. You know, everybody's getting out of the way. I was really seeing it what was going in because that one's going to almost take the defender out. It's going to be a hard one to try to communicate with because nobody's got that one open to pay attention to. Now the win puts it for the Knights as Peter will have it. Great stop and puck motion. Deep puck firing by Marchitsall. Takes a stop. Skinner makes a save and now finds CC. CC trying to look again to Fujell. Barry's got that puck. Scoots across. Trying to hold on to it. Bojo saw it. Big save here by Aiden Hill. CC the nurse. Give the Barry! Big on a stop chain! Whoa! That's what he does now. I mean, you gotta give that one a good look. The better offense is not gonna pick up the big game if he had that one in there. That was a hard one that he's gonna try to do. Keep that one in the side. If there's something going in, if you gotta take it over down, you gotta run it out. Jose and Skinner will hold that puck here with just nearing a 5.30 mark in the first. And the Vegas Golden Knights wins it. He scores! First goal in the playoffs, Dennis Seiko! And they have their first answer of the night! Well, this is what Dennis Seiko did. He finally receives his goal in the playoffs. Now, when you're doing that playoff in the motion, you're doing that face-off, and then you give it a time over and beat over Skinner. That was excellent. That courtesy turned to be a little like it's a heart of Kayak out there. But that was really like an all turn B. It's a great shot. He had that one in. But he's improving it all. Dennis Senko with his first goal in the franchise playoff history. And now he will have his time to get another clutching shot if he does another one. Jose with the puck. Gives off to Dennis Senko for two. That's off again on Skinner. Kulak's got the puck now finding Hyman. 5 10 to go in the first period, trying to answer it in. Drysdale shoots! Big rebound and stop here by Aiden Hill! McNabb finds Tedesenko. Hyman's got that puck here with under 5 minutes. Off the dry sidle. Over again to Kulak. Kulak goes slamming right toward the board and Fedor will have it back to McNabb. McNabb gets to Morelli. First shot, the big stop puts in by Skinner. Jose takes it for the slot. Big stop here, and it's the out of the way, and Skinner has to hold on. That one's going to be a little hard in that one play. Skinner made that one incredible, but that screen was almost going to turn it over. If you're looking forward to the Western Conference playoffs, this is the only game that you all have to believe on, and this will be all changed for once as the Stars will take on against the Predators back in American Airlines Center. Then following along with the next game is the Avalanche facing against the Jets back in Mile High. Then game six, we will have another one to keep your eyes on the study now as we have the first game.
that will be the Bruins and the Maple Leafs as the Maple Leafs win that game over the Florida Panthers and they are advancing to the next round after a devastation loss against the Tampa Bay Bolts. But it seemed like the last two seasons ago, it was round two, but they have it here. Clearly, you have that mentioned now. Maple Leafs are going to start showing some big response out there if you're going to take it in here for Holland. Big stop by Skinner with three under 3.30 to go. And after that one, we, have, we will have the narrow game as we start the second round. The Bruins and the Maple Leafs will be heading away for our next part of the game before our narrow game releases. That will be happening here in game five. That will be the two Western Conference matchups in between the Jets and the Avalanche back at Ball Arena. Then following here with Game 6, the Bolts and Rangers ready to take on an next opponent here back at Amalia Arena. Cold Stars got the puck. That will be all the games right here only on Son of Beast. Slings the puck up around the board. Echo gives it again to Perry and now he is trying to look for some help. McLeod will have it in. Regrouping from zone, shoot, but saved by Gill. Portrait of the Berry. And this one is up. Epic stuff by Gill. We are under 2 3 to go in the first period. Oilers need some answers back here. Officially, the game's set now. 3 0 is the score. And the Vegas team will win the faceoff back to Petrangelo. Now finding a room opener. Petrangelo gets to Carlson. Over again to Marchinson. Reside. Look back again. Shoot. Big save by Skinner. This one's really going to be a hard one. That inbound is not going to be easy when you take Skinner with that save. If you play for Edmonton Oilers, you've got to recruit someone else. Hill takes a stop. Under two minutes remaining in the first period, 3-0 to score, Vegas Golden Knights. Not a big win for Vegas and Martinez again to Mertrangelo. If you saw him get to Marchinson with the give and go look. Toward the corner, here's Carlson. Oh, what a big block here by Nurse. Gatner's got that puck here, now back into the Vegas territory. Here's Brown! Oh, what time he did not have the answer as Hill makes a denying shot run. It's easy now, Eden Hill is really getting a good look. Better plays, better drives, it's becoming to be overrated now. If Eden Hill is starting to look for a Stanley Cup playoff win against the Canadian team, that's the team we're looking for. Hopefully, this will help. Carlson now finds Brisson's shot. Big save by Skinner. Here in the final minute in the first period, 3-0 to score to be. Vegas up by three. And the faceoff win for Vegas. Denies the shot. Last minute remaining in the first period. Now McNabb will have it. Off again to Brisson. Brisson now finds Marchessault. Oh, read the post off of that! That was too close as it raised the iron. That was really tough on the angle. You never noticed why this is going to happen like that. McDavid's shot went wide. Colsar's got the puck now having to look over in the offensive lineup. Now finds Fedor. 20 seconds remaining in the first period. Fedor looking for more room. Off to second save. Near the corner, fires it! Big stop here by Skinner. Off again to McDavid to beat the Bars He's lost that puck. And so that ends the first period. 3 0 to score. We'll take a quick break when we come back after this. Welcome back to Rogers Place. We're about to get started for the second period. And the face-off starts things off. I'll have a little bit in between of those two. I'll have to find out if there's another takeover right in between. Let's have it for you guys. Who are you going to take? 
Well, this is really what they are expecting now. Vegas School of Knights are starting things off on a slow, steady, well, Edmonton on a journey is so steady, but the Vegas Golden Knights are an early lead. They won it all, and they wanted to move on. But the problem with that one is they really need to find someone else to get through an open look. That offense is not going to get it clean enough, and this one is going to take lots of time to get right from here. I know it's going to be a little difficult for them, but let's hope that the Oilers have an answer back. Officially the game set, ready for the faceoff. Vegas on a powerful ahead. It's a 3 0 game. Vegas wins the face off. It's for charge alone now, having it over. Popping back near the airway as he will have to find it over to Martinez. Now, Martin Soul with the puck. Now, find Carlson. Slides it across now into the wing. Carlson, no penalty called on Edmonton Oilers. Oh boy, the battle range going in between America and Canadian. That one's not going to get fooled. Dry cycle with the puck with 18.30 to go. That shot went choppy. Rolls to the corner as Martinez battles for the loose puck. For Changelo. Find a pass back to Carlson. Carlson working his way across. Whoa, take the big hit. Carlson recovers it. And this one stopped. Way off the mark, and now Bouchard will have it again to Kane. In his own entry, Kane, Jamar shot, big save! That went outside of the net, and that one holds on for Aiden Hill. Oh boy, that is like a close call. I never see what goes in, and if something happens, if he put that net in there, that would have been excellent. They would be on the board right away. Now a barber shovel out the puck. In towards the wing, to the side, save! Marchangelo, that one stopped it again by the goaltender. Barbashev trying to get the puck back. Vegas still in town, Marchangelo, shoots, save! Kane with the puck. Now the Oilers will take their advantage and now go back the other way. Shoot one! That one's picked out by Aiden Hill. Follow along with the puck book, trying to get the puck back. Barbashev trying to answer it back. Here's the take. Good save here by Skinner. Yarmark's got it now right into the wing. Off to Forgel. Step back to Echo. For a shot. Whoa! That was a little bit safe here by Ian Hill. That was really tough. That puck was sent flying over and said, Nope, I'm out of here. That one, he's got to make some of the new changes to make it clear. Petrangelo with the puck with 16-15 to go. As he kicks the puck over, now finding at home, McLeod. Toward the middle, stop by go. What a great save. That one is an excellent throw. I'm just seeing things right away if they didn't know can get another save. Now for the win for the Vegas Golden Knights is Petrangelo off to Morelli. Fans chanting it loud, but the Knights are having a little difficulty here. Trying to get it back. Skinner grabs a puck on the Jets. 15.46 remaining in the first, second period. As he's trying to get another goal in response. Now the teams are set, ready for the faceoff. Three O's where we left off, and set last. As they put up a win, here's Morelli. This one will stop by Skinner. We're nearing down to 1530 mark. If you're looking toward the other side now, we've got your next games underway. Because of game six, it will be in between of the zones. If necessary, for one of them, that will be a little bit of closer to range. As we see the next part of the matchup, for game five, that will be our next one to take over. And this will be our another matchup to go in, in between the NBA and NHL. As we have the Mavericks, they're trying to roll it in now. I mean, if they get game six already, if necessary, but we'll find out what goes in. Here comes McDavid! He scores! There's an answer! Connor McDavid starts things off in the second period. That's wheels with a fast lane in track. 
past the 15 minute mark. CC now has it again, back to Bob Hyman. Hyman gets squished up. Hyman will try it again, and now he gives it again to Dreisaitl, looks again to McDavid. Roy will have it down to McNabb. McNabb trying to answer it in, fires a shot. Good block here by the Oilers defender, and there is the penalty call. That's goes to Connor McDavid, and he has no question. He got a little disappointment at that point. Yeah, it's really what nobody likes. Connor McDavid is really having a little bit of difficult difficulty. After with that goal, he's really pissed off now. So the Vegas Golden Knights will start their first power play with just under 14.30 to go in the second period. Vegas wins the faceoff. Theodore! Oh, big stop here by Skinner. Holds on with the pet. A little bit of a little bit of a lock under siege here. It'll have another face-off on its way. Now the chance here for Theodore. Shoot! Glove saved by Skinner. He's got a pretty good reaction. Try to react quickly. And he just got that one glove saved. Yes, easy to say this for Skinner. He's really like into a hard look. He's like uh, already on a high range of bound. On this rank, it's not very gonna be easy if he gets this one finished. That's gonna be a hard part if he gets it done. Skinner's gonna hold it on, but just nearing the 14 minute mark. 3-1 still the score. Off to win it again, here's Fedor. Sevenson shoots. Skinner denies that shot again. Well, he's really like picking it up already. I mean, this really is not turned to like all professionally. And they're really like trying to make that hard long going bound. Not to fire off that he's trying to get this one in there. March itself. And it's another save by Skinner. Man, they're trying to deny that one here, but there's no defensive call on the separate for Edmonton Earlis. He need to find some attackers here while the full pressure's on for Vegas Golden Knights. Now Marchessault with the puck. No penalty range, but they had that one back. Well, there he is. I guess that happened with Gatner. He just tried to block it, but that is not going to help. That is like unbelievable plays. You're never going to like that call, and that is a bad call. Because he tripped him over, watch here. You see that? That's what Marcusel was putting in there. He's trying to make a call on that. I'm glad, but he has, he's definitely got a penalty. That will be a crossing foul to take over, and it's never going to be the same thing. Marcusel dislikes the Canadian team. And it's that one out of here right behind the net. It's Ducharnes with the puck. Now it's a 5 on 3 attack. Eugene Hopkins now finds Echo. Echo trying to go in. He went down, though Vegas could held the call. Now Barbashev will have it over. Dishonius will have to clear the puck out of here. I think we got a problem over here. It looks like he's on the ground. I don't know what's going on. Steps in. For Carlson's shot. Big save by Skinner. With under 13 minutes, still a 3-1 game. Now, I hope that there isn't a glitch or anything. That caused that someone to make a mess of it. I said, what the heck? That's going to be a little wedgie. 
I don't think it was in the woods yet. I think it was like a tripping on the call. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, now he's cleared out. Now it's back in the reboot. But we're only on the two on one. Big save by Skinner. Looks like that Connor McDavid's ready to get back out there. McClure will fire the puck into the Vegas territory. The power play still continues as McConnell McDavid's out of the penalty box. Connor shoots! Oh, big save here by Skinner. And now we will have to clear that one out of here. That puck leaves his home. Trying to get it out of here as McDavid will have it. Looks like his time is about to expire. Morelli Royston! That big save here by Skinner. Full units are on as the power play comes empty. 0-1 for Vegas. Now that's when they are doing really well. I mean, that's Gagner's fault. Well, be before that, he had a belly. Connor McDavid was a little aggressive on that play. Now he's trying to pursue, but he didn't care about anybody who really wants to be. But he wants to give a good, nice, and compliments on that point. And for Gagner, he had a little bit tripping call of it earlier. It didn't really work out for him. So he's got to watch out for anything if he gets broke. Now for Vegas, Martinez! Oh man, that Skinner had that one released and reacted quickly. He made another save. I know he loves Skinner. Yeah, you know, it's a fancy one. I mean, you're going to take all the time. And that's what everyone does. They're all chanting for Skinner. Give a good appreciation if he does. The Fleury finds a full gel shot. And that one hit off the pad again by Sue. McClure, backhander, that's denied again. McClure now finds the charge shot, and a rebound! Oh, big back here, Aiden Hill, are you kidding me? Another big save now in the midway mark. All right, I gotta show you what happened. That Aiden Hill was a crash though. That was no technique that he has done. That is a big play. That is a like a hard one you ever expected that. Go try to save the puck already. I mean, this is not how it's happened. That's a hard one that you're going to take for of your life. The Oilers wins the face off. That shot's blocked. Stephenson gives to Pachangelo. Almost took the puck away. Martinez gets the barbershop as the full pressure's off for the Edmonton Oilers. Stephenson shot. Six to save here by Skinner as McClure with the puck now again to Fogel. Forge on to McClure, shoots, save by Gill. Now back to Buchar, backhander. Won't take it enough from here, and he go down to the midway mark. McClure with the butt. Forge shoots, blocked up. McClure gives it again to Echo. We charge shot, another big save here. I'm in. As we saw him, we'll get that puck here. Pressure is off again for the Edmonton Oilers. And now Vegas will have their chance. Big stop by Skinner. Two-time stop. The Oilers are back into the offense now by Hyman. Hyman shot. Denies again. We saw him now have to puck with nine minutes going by in the second period. Shoots wide. Big save. Ekholm tries to deliver it up. And now by McDavid. McDavid tries to, uh, to avoid the tackle, and Fedor will have it back up. Avoiding, oh, the cross is inbound! Back to the Vegas territory, the glass is broken! Well, here's what happened now. I don't see what you can definitely, you could slam that helmet, and that glass went loose. That's a crash out there. Ouch. As the win will put up for Fedor, he will now have it back to McNabb. McNabb to Delisinko. Here's a full breakaway chance. Shoots! Save by Skinner. Throws it, he's got the putt. Keep it alive! No! Skinner makes a stop and save, and another disappointment to get an extension for one. Now the defensives of the matchup, they're ready for another face-off. It's a critical clash claim in between the American team and the Canadian team. Now they put the win as Nurse will get to CeCe. 
Cece, try to go back to work. Overlook. Jam Hart bring behind the net, and this one will stay out as Tedesenko gives again to Morelli. Morelli trying to make his way down. Shot. Locked it up in Valley's traffic, and now Kane will have it over. Now he will have it now back to Nugent Hopkins. Passes to Jamel. Young Mark right toward in the left wing. To release the shot. Big rebound. A save puts in for Gale. Whoa. Oh, this is really what they're expecting. Aiden Hill is really like putting it off with an effort. That's a hard part, but you're going to have to take all of your life. Peter now finds Kulsar. Kulsar right toward the wing. Better shot. Big save by Skinner. We're, we're nearing down to the five minute mark. Still a 3 1 game. Now, with the officials are ready to take their responses, Vegas are up by two. As they win the face off, Martinez and Petrangelo shot. Skinner, what a big stop! Now with the win for Vegas and Martinez with the shot. A bit of a little body contact here. Ivan with the putt. Off the dry side all. That shot gets blocked in traffic and now with Martinez with the putt. Off to Petrangelo. Race is thrown into the Oilers territory. Ivan takes it back. Dry side of the Echo. Now back to Bouchard. Bouchard spins around now finds Ivan. Hyman, shoot, save by Gill, a big one to make the release, and we'll hold it here being under siege here. This is really what they expected. Nothing you saw that one coming out, that's what the hard part gets in the way. Avoiding the, avoiding with the body check. That's like a too good take in here. Fires the puck out of here. Bouchard will have it over now, again to Echo, now finds McCloy. Look at this play! Perry shoots, and we'll have that one poked out of here, and now back to Brisson with the puck for Vegas. Martinez trying to get into the right zone. Now has it over, Carlson! Big save on the pack by Skinner! A big stop chain! 32 gets for the Oilers, and they're trying to answer that one back. Skinner wipes the puck out of here into the board and Bouchard now back to Echo. Here's Perry with the puck. Rolls inside right toward the left wing. Shot! Stop here by Aiden Hill. Bouchard back to McCloy. McCloy to get the CC shot. That's safe here. Martinez trying to hold back with an answer response with 440 to go. Puck along the boards. Scoop up along the board by Busson. Off to Fedor. It's blocked. Rue blocks the puck as Virgil will have it. Dumps it into the Vegas territory. The Golden Knights are back into the offensive zone. Shake Fedor back to Rue. Can't hold on with the puck as it goes back to Cece. Now it's your mark. Got a little big, big head gear. Nerds trying to go over it. On attacking range, looking for a two. On a shot, score! Young Mark with a lot of goals. Another play off the bound, go back down for the wall. That's the calls for the taste of Young Mark. Got a great goal against the Rooster. That's a hard part, but you gotta take him down. After you get a pass on, you gotta break the thing down. And he's finally done it again. Very close down at the end of the second period. Oilers and have an answer back. It's a 3 2 game in Rogers' place. Now, with the win for Edmonton Oilers, his nurse will have it again. Now, finding Dreisaitl. He's going to tie it, and it's denied. Dreisaitl now has it over to Hyman, and now find Nurse. Sixty shot. Big save here by Gill. Under 3 3 to go in the second period. 
Feet here with the puck, now entering in. Pirates got that puck now, swings it up across to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl gets the McDavid. Oilers adding to a scourge. Dennis Seiko with the puck with under three minutes. Takes a battle near the blue line and Dreisaitl will have it back. Shot! What a big stop by Hill! This one's really getting into it. Dreisaitl was trying to get an open look, but this offense couldn't get it done worse than that. I think there has to be a lot of great techniques here, and they need to make sure they have that one moving around again, for sure. And for the win, here's a shot! Oh, big take over here, and now Hyman will have it. Dreisaitl. The yard stop, big save by Gill. 2-3 left to go in the second period, still a 3-2 game. They're looking to tie this game or stay down. Now DeSardis will have that puck win. Had saved by Gill. Connor McDavid trying to answer it back. Hyman shoots, he scores! There's a play that has to go with that one. If McDavid gives it over to Hyman, that shot was going to take over. Beats over the defender, and now he got that shot. That one raises the open up, takes it in deep. It's now a tie game with 2 18 to go in the second period. McDavid trying to look for some more room as if Harris will give it back to Dreisaitl. Here's Hyman with the puck. Trying to go for two. That block over the defender, back to Stephenson. Theodore with the puck. Size the track here. Off to Stephenson. Here's Kosar. Big save on the impact on that one that's blocked up. It's Jamark will have it. And that puck will take it away from him. McNabb again to Kosar. Passing the 90-second mark in the second period, now has it to Stephenson. Great defensive effort. Kulsar, Barbershop shoots, but saved by Skinner. We are almost down to the end of the period. It's still an even game as the energy is bringing loud to the crowd. Vegas wins the faceoff. Martinez to Prisard shot! Another one denies the shot by Schooner. Another win for the Vegas Golden Knights. Last minute remaining in the second period. As it's still even up, Prisard finds Carlson. Fires the puck out. Marchesson gives to Carlson. Martinez gets a little bit of junk out of him as Gulak gives to Kane. Evander Kane didn't hold on to that. Carlson with the puck shot. Saved by Skinner. Now they're off to do it again. Nearing down the end of the second period, Mark still tied up. And the Vegas will win the faceoff. Martinez hit the Bertrangelo. They're going to stop and bound as Kulak will have it. 20 seconds left to remain in the second period. Fires the puck out. Martinez with the puck. Final seconds left. We side. A chance to break the tie. Stop by Skinner. Great save as the second period comes to an end. Two guys made that good clearing goal, but we will have a next goal to take right after this. Third period coming up after the break. We've come down to the final period in game five. And we are set ready for the last part in game five, and this will be a leadoff to take. He scores! This was on the now, Darnell Nurse, welcome in. 
Now, I was expecting that line to be the goaltender. It was really impossible to do that. But as you already made that one in there, that is a great look. We've got a great goal. That starts with the today for the third period. And there's an answer back. They finally have done Great one. Now, as the Golden Knights are trying to look for a rebellion and a run, and there's a big tack down. Jamari Sider now finds CeCe. Deep in the dip, that pass again to Durst. Finds Big David. He finally a look ahead and it pays. Now finds Hyman. Hyman gives it again to Big David. Shoots! And it's stopped on the chain by Aiden Hill. Bach rolls out of his own. And now here's Nurse. Give it again to Hyman. Now he finds Big David. Big David to dry side off. Shot! Big stop on the chain here by Hill. Drysidel tries to give it puck back. Rison stopped. Kane gets again to CC. Now is the check for Marchetsov to Brisson. Brisson lost that puck and now he will give it again to Kane. Kane gets a vision Hawkins. Hawkins lost the puck. It's Machangelo will have it. Now back to Martinez again to Kulsar. Kolsar trying to answer it in. Full break pedal for the tie! No, it stayed up! Skinner just had another save! This is really like a bigger battle and a takeover. It's really like difficult to maintain it, but he is really stopping it all. I mean, you gotta give credit to that. Here's Petrangelo trying to tie it again! Oh, a big save by Skinner! Just under 18 minutes to start in the third period. Now the officials are ready to take their way down as this time comes under 18 minutes. Nijan Hopkins wins the face off and now finds Bouchard. Again to Kane. Kane finds the puck around the net. Martinez lost the puck. Another hit for the Edmonton Oilers as he will have it back. Rochangelo trying to fight for the puck. He went down. Oh, big a low moment as Boris will have it. Big stop by the chain of Skinner. Oh, that is a big off on the payback lesson already. This is not going to be taking a great look of it in between. But don't get uncomfortable if you try and look for it. That was redirected, and now Kane will have it again to Jamar. Yarmouk shot. Oh, the big stop by Aiden Hill. The under 17 minutes to go. Officials are getting set, ready for the face-off. Four threes, the lead change, as Oilers are up by one. Now they win it. Bouchard, sticking a blocker saved by Hill. Bouchard, shots blocked. Morelli will have it again to Froze. We're saying again to Fiedor, now back to McNabb. McNabb trying to stick it. This one has been directed. Bouchard with the puck, trying to get over it. Battling for the loose puck is Bouchard trying to get it back. McLeod right now finding that goal. Deep pass to Pochel. Now Feeder will have his chance. Big hit here. Perry gives it again to Pochel. Trying to get off of him. Morelli's got it now. Back to Marchinson. Lost the puck as Bouchard will have it over again to that goal. Echo Mason in front. Take the bench in! This one has been re-knocked out. As McNabb's got it now. Back again to Fedor. Fedor Valley for the puck. McDavid's got it now. And now over again looking for their room for Fedor. Carlson can't hold on with the puck as McDavid has it to get to Echo. Echo gives the high man. Close stop by Hill. Nearing the 15 minute mark, it's still a 4 3 game. Now, with another face off, ready to take the advantage. 4 3, still the B. Now, the win for the Vegas School of Knights is McNabb will have it again to Carlson. Carlson to Marginson. Taking a swing in between. Fires it. That was deflected off to the defender, and this one goes right behind the net. Marge is still trying to give it over, now finding McNabb. Off to Brisson. Fedor. Back to McNabb. Get to Carlson. Here we go, look at saved off by Skinner. This was really like a tough on the beyond the angle. 
this is a water would look out. You gotta make sure you have that one in, in your set. It's not gonna be easy when you take a lot of time for it. Ivan has a re-puck rebound and he gives it again. Rubber bit swung goes out. It scores! So two goals! Now we look for stay by two. That's what happened now. That fighter was really like in a good fighting back. That's a great pass here by Leon Weissel. We give it over to the high for the tape to tape sound. That's why his ability has been changing. Oilers extend one by two, and it's now five three game game beat the road. Fans for a while as the Edmonton Oilers are looking to get a lead back in. Barbara's Jack gets again to Cole Sar. Close stop by Skinner. It's coming in close now. As right now we're making an approachment nearing the midway mark of the period. Face off book drop wins for Martinez. Players a shot. Alton Harrison now tries to battle up in a roost puck. Kane's got it now, right into the boards. Off to Nugent Hopkins. Fires a shot. Hit off the bat, save gear by Hill. Kane. Oh, what a one timer. But now he does it again. Travel for two goals. Now it's next three. This three motion is going to be what Martin Martin is looking for. Nigel Hopkins got a great pass over to Yamar, and he left that one right behind him. That fool has been a goal timer for taking over. Across the range. It's a great pass for Brian and Nugent Hopkins to have it all settled in. He did a good look here by Jan Martin. He had that one going right behind him there. It turned to me like it's a one-time motion, but it wasn't really easy at all for him to give him all he got. I'll try to find out if he does more. Big stop by Skinner and now back to Jan Mark looking to get his hot trick in the third. Here he comes. This one here. But that one is like there's an effort hook up here for Arkansas. And they seem to be the Oilers are getting a little bit on, on the belt. And I would think they want to get to the second round as fast as they can. Looks like your Marcus got pretty really well at it. Yeah, he's pretty good at that. I mean, now with three balls, he finally earns his hat trick. And I even really appreciate uh, Yamar who said Yamar. It's all with the better goals it happens to be for him. I mean, he has been like the best player that he is trying to earn his spot to get into the playoff spot in the hat trick. First, we saw the first one in the first round. It's our Timmy Panera, but now Jam Mark, he's got that one here to get three goals he got to go for. He's amazing now. Give him a good run. Oh, good save by Gill! Jujan Hopkins trying to fire it, it's trying to stop the gap by Gill. Morelli with the puck with only 12 30 to go. Off to Kozar. Backhander missed it out wide. Nurse tries to give off the dry cycle with the puck. Into the right wing. McDavid! Oh, Thompson. Well, this will be a new replacement for the goaltender. And now is that moment that Aiden Hill is out. Emergency goaltenders coming on the court. This one really has to be what Thompson does. Hopefully, there's another team that will get into another one for Aiden Hill. The better of a goal, the better and the powerful, he will have that one more opportunity chance. As for a new goaltender making some switches, here's a shot and Skinner makes a save. With under 12 minutes remaining in the third, he's trying to get another clear look here for the playoff on his saving ability. He's looking to get in here on a tightness on a score defense. Now with the win, here's Bouchard, now find Ekholm. Ekholm tried to lift it over in the right wing. Here's Hyman, and Thompson denies the shot. 11.42 left to go in the third period. Still look like that Hyman really wants to get that one a hat trick too. But Yambar, he's got that one with three goals. Already 
just had an error for the Vegas Golden Knights, and that was a big problem for them. Now that they were winning, here's Morelli, now give to Fyodor. Off to Dennis Denisenko. Lost the puck. McDavid's got it now, back again. With 11 30 to go in the third. McDavid shoots, big save by Thompson. Oh, he's being good right now. But Aiden Hill didn't really seem to care about it at all. But that one changed his life. Well, it's really sorry for now. I mean, Thompson's really trying to get the all of his, his coverage. That percentage of him, but his saving is turning to be a little loose on the, on the chain. Another stop made by the goaltender of Thompson. Peter now finding again to Carlson. This one's lost. McNabb trying to get it back, but Hyman has got it away instead. Hyman leaving the weave zone. McDavid trying to roll it in. Here's Russell. And rebound. What a big stop by Thompson. This is like a hard one. That Thompson's really trying to make his own better offensive on the board. And this was not really what he was going to do. He makes that one a lot of a harder than his saving ability. But that passing turned like it's a crazy look. That's a wild save that you give off to Thompson. All the way down, nobody cares. Mark it so with the puck. Saved by Skinner with nearing the midway mark of the period in the third. Officials are getting set ready to drop the puck. 7-3. A lot of big scores here for Edmonton Oilers making some comebacks here in the second and third period. But now we just passed the midway mark of the period. McLeod gives to Echo. And here's Echo. Driving towards it right around the net. Here's Fines for Trangelo. Now finds Carlson right toward into the left wing. Looking for some raw room on a shot. And there's the penalty. That's going to signal it for Edmonton Oilers as the slash is called on Ekholm. Well, he's really like upset right now. Ekholm is really in the penalty box. This is not the day where everyone really has to go out with that. Mateus can't let that one happen to get scored in between if there's a problem with that. Another penalty kill for the Everton Oilers. Vegas Golden Knights trying to retrieve that power play goal without slowing down. Now Hopkins will win the faceoff as Nurse back to CC and Nugent Hopkins will clear the puck out. Dumps it into the Vegas territory and Fedor will have it again to move. Rue now finds Senesenko. Senesenko trying to roll it in now. Looking for Connor. Shot! Big save by Skinner. And Senko now five more to saw. Big stop by Skinner. He's really not getting up at that point. He's really stopping it and he's getting over it. That is a hard one playing ball. That Skinner was really taking all of his chances. First period was no good, but now he's looking to do this one again. Here's CC he gives it off to Nurse this time. Almost went to the late of the game. Carlson, off to Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins toward the corner. Takes a turn to shoot, and a stop by Thompson blows it up. Rechangelo with the puck. Kicks the puck over to Carlson. Yamark's got it now. Went down. Oh, that's a big kick. Ryan Nugent Hopkins. That's saved it up here by Thompson, and Stephenson will clear the puck out with under 8-3 to go. Stephenson, a bad save puts up by Skinner. Now he will have a little bit more breathing room here with nearly an eight minute going by. Now they're ready to do another face off puck drop. We've come down to the final period in game five. And we are set ready for the last part in game five, and this will be a leadoff to take. He scores! Darnell Nurse brings her team up in the lead on the first start of game five. Guess what's happened now, Darnell Nurse, welcome in. Now, I was expecting that blinding the goaltender was really impossible to do that way. 
But as you already made that one in there, that's a great look. He got a great goal. That start one puts it in for the third period. And there's like an answer back they finally have done. Great work. Now as the Golden Knights are trying to look for a rebellion and a run, and there's a good tack down. Try side will now find CeCe. Deep in the good, good pass again to Nurse. Finds McDavid. He finally looked ahead and it pays. Now finds Lightman. Lightman gets again to McDavid. Shoots! And it's stopped by the chain by Aiden Hill. Bach rolls out of the zone, and now here's Nurse. Give it again to Hyman. Now he finds McDavid. McDavid to dry side off. Shot! Big stop on the chain here by Hill. Dry side off, tries to give it puck back. Resound stopped. Kane gets again to CC. Now is the check for Marchitzel to Brisson. Brisson lost that puck and now he will give it again to Kane. Kane gets the vision Hawkins. Hawkins lost the puck, it's Marchangelo will have it. Now back to Martinez again to Kozar. Kozar trying to answer it in. Full break pedal for the tie! No, it stayed up! Skinner just had another save! This is really like a bigger battle and a takeover. It's really like difficult to maintain it, but he is really stopping it all. I mean, you gotta give credit to that. Here's Petrangelo trying to tie it again. Oh, big save by Skinner. Just under 18 minutes to start in the third period. Now the officials are ready to take their way down as this side comes under 18 minutes. Nijan Hopkins wins the face off and now finds Bouchard. Again to Kane. Kane finds the puck around the net. Martinez lost the puck. Another hit for the Edmonton Oilers as he will have it back. With Changelo trying to fight for the puck. He went down. Oh, big and low moment as Burbishev will have it. Big stop by the chain of Skinner. Oh, that is a big off on the payback lesson already. This is not going to be taking a great look of it in between. But don't get uncomfortable if you try and look for it. That was redirected, and now Kane will have it again to Jermark. Yarmor shot! Oh, the big stop by Aiden Hill! The final 17 minutes to go. Officials are getting set, ready for the faceoff. 4 3 is the lead change as Oilers are up by one. Now they win it. Bouchard! Stick in a blocker saved by Hill. Bouchard, shots blocked. Morelli really will have it again to Frozen. With under 5 3 left to go as he takes the shot, this was blocked up. Barbashev tries to get it over, this was another stop here by Skinner. Ergo tries to get it over onto the right side, looking for some help. Martinez takes the cut. Passes off to Kolsar. Five minutes to go in the third period, trying to look back to get in for two. And not this time, Skinner does it all with another save. That was a pressure to take. Not really everybody's good at it, but this was a hard one to take. As I have the call, here's my bring. Connor McDavid's doing really well. Metal offense for the one-on-one -on -one fast break. The wheels is better to take in. And he scores. Kolzar finally gets his goal here against the Oilers in game five, and this one goes back down by two. After the winning faceoff, this one happened to be a little bit clearer in this one. That was deflected. Watch what happened there. You see what the faceoff does? And there's a look at the Kolzar. He had to deflect it in now. That is a great pass here. That point has been putting up under Alex Portrangelo with that one. And his assist. It's going to be a close game right now. And Stephenson will have the puck here as Martinez with the puck. Here's Stephenson. Lost the puck. Good stop here. It's off the glove with Skinner. And I have a look again. Life frame. Well, I say now, Connie McDavid is doing really well. But I'm guessing that there's a little bit of a close battle range. And it could be a little bit tight. I'll find out if this will happen here in game six. But glad to have that one. Connie McDavid done it all. Thanks for the love out there, dear life friend. Appreciate it. Hey, anytime. The puck sends out of here. 
Now Pucho will have it again back to Perry. Perry again to McCloy. McCloy had the Pucho shot. Big stop on the chain by Thompson. We are under four minutes remaining here in the final three minutes in the third. Now they're off to do this set again. It's a 7 5 game. And Carlson wins the face off, and Petrangelo will have it now. Slide it over to Brisson. Brisson slides it over. Shoot! Club saved by Skinner. Get some time to get some a little rest, and then get back in the blue. Now they're ready to do this one again. Seven fives to score, and they're still up by two. And Vegas wins the face off. That's be checking out here. Too many bodies in the way. And Dry Side will have it over with 3 to go. Barbershop's got that puck now if I can get it for Changelo. Step us in with the puck. Toward the middle. Big save. Oh, big time stop by Skinner. That's what happens now. He's really like in for a better life timing. That's a great stop and a good communication here for the goaltender to pick it up. And the win puts in for Barbers Champion for trying to a shot. Big save on the chain by Skinner. Nurse on his way down. Fighting across looking for open room. Ivan blocked the shot. Ivan with the puck. Go for back. Big save here by Thompson. Martinez bats it over again. Puck loses it. Dry has got it. Shoots! Wow! Well saved by Thompson. They're at a 2.30 mark in the third. Now they're off to do this one again as the time comes down to the end in the fifth game. And the winner will put it up as Martinez with the puck and now finds Petrangelo. Off to Marchessault. Over toward the right, right wing. Marchessault in. Big on a stop play. Yamar give it back to Kane. Evander Kane trying to look in it. Go for four. Oh, that was a big number save by Thompson. Two minutes left to remain in the third. And this one stopped again by Skinner. We're getting down to the end of the line, and they're still trying to look at some looking goal ahead of goals in between for the Vegas or the Oilers to break out and go with the 3 2 lead. This one puts it on the way, McNabb. Peter shot. He broke in the stick already. He's going to have to replace a new one. Well, he's running back to the, uh, the bench right now. I mean, he's trying to grab it, and now Kane's got it. He had that one going ahead, and that, that's the manager that they were doing it. They're doing really well. Just keeping the stick alive, but they got to clean some ice time. And this won't be a day when he can get there after. With some new line changes, Carlson. Good and stopped by Skinner. We're nearing the final minute mark here in the third period. Oilers has been a better team than the Canadian. Uh, the franchise effort looking for their Stanley Cup win. But this won't be a hard one if it's going to be a win or loss in the game. McNabb, he broke us a stick too. Oh boy, they're rushing right now into the uh, into the bench. They're going to need to try to grab one and replace a new one. That's never going to happen right now. I mean, if you've broken the stick, I mean, you can't let that one break free out with a broken stick, and that's going to be a hard one that you can't take. Well, it's a shot. Big save by Skinner. Man event trying to put it in. CC will roll it out. The shot went wide, and now Hyman will take it, and he will have that one too. Two more takes to start, not one, but two. Hyman does it again, as Yamak and Hyman both receive actress for the other players. Now, this is what the play does, as Zach Hyman is really playing in an endless game. That one puts a mark, and then an exciting matchup puts it in. For Zach Hyman, he finishes off. That's how you win it in, over in the first period, and it's a good night for Vegas. And with the win for the Oilers, he gives it back to Dreisaitl. 30 seconds left remaining in the third period. 
And that one will be slashed. But the power play will be hit if they get a goal. Shea Feeder is in the penalty box. All the fans of the Oilers are standing wild now in Rogers Place. A chance or a win the game. Now the win for Vegas School tonight is Patrick McDad. Here's Barbashev, he will have it through. And that one sticks it over. Evander came with the puck, now finally looking open. McDavid will finish this game here. And they are deciding that we will win it again. Yep, it's a big farewell night now. Until game six in Vegas. Edmonton Oilers wins the game. Now breaks the series. It's now a 3-2 game in the first round. Big celebration for Skinner in the comeback release And with that one, it's all finishing off a big moment. What a wild game. We all salute to the fans, and we can't agree with them without all your guys. This has been a wild night. Such a comeback experience, however. They're really doing well. And that's what you do. Finish it off, fight for the win. So well, that's to do now. OJ along with Ballpoint Pen and Tyler Beast. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the A Sports and with Life Frame 2. Thanks for watching and have a great night. Alright, thank you so much. Mateus John Mark is the third, third star player with three goals and three hits. Turned to be a little bit of rocket food here. First hat trick of the goal. Then a second one goes out to Darnell Nurse with a goal, four assists, and ten hits. Only had made in there and just got a big whip down here. And your first star player of the game, another hat trick, but the goaltender did it all. Stuart Skinner with 94 saves. Let's have a look at the total statistics. In between of the zones, 99 over 79 for Vegas and Edmonton. 49 over 46 for Edmonton Oilers. Then it was 637 over 611 for Vegas Golden Knights. Then it was 93 percentage over 92 for the Vegas Golden Knights of a passing percentage. Good one to take. 59 over 28 for Vegas Golden Knights. Then it was a two minute penalty kill for Vegas and six minute penalty kill for Edmonton Oilers. One power play goal with only 416 on the clock. And only 28 seconds won't be enough because that one ends it off. So I hope everyone's enjoying the part of a double header and we'll stick you around for the full games to have a look. First, we will have a sneak peek look here to start things off in round number two as the Bruins will take on against the Toronto Maple Leafs. This should be an exciting matchup between the American team and the Canadian team on the other side. And this one will be going back to the Western Conference right in between as we have another matchup. We have the Stars facing against the Predators, and finally, the Avalanche facing against the other team, and this will be another take of the Jets, back in Mile High. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again very soon. Have a great night, folks, and we'll see you all back again. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.